Hi, I'm Raquel from Fangerless. I'm here with Stacy Rukeiser, sorry, <laughs> uh, the soul runner of Sex Life. Um, hi, Stacy, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. Well, my first question is, what was one of the biggest talents of Give This Story Life? Bring This Story to Life. The biggest challenges? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, um, shooting a series um, with so much intimacy <laughs> during a worldwide pandemic <laughs> was certainly <laughs> not an easy task, you know, um, but we had such incredible partners in, in Netflix and incredible production staff on the ground in Toronto that um, it was, it was, uh, it was really just a dream come true. You know, it's such a personal story for me, you know, this, this, idea of a wife and mom who can't stop thinking about her single girl days in the city and, and, you know, this impossibly sexy man who she used to know and wonders, you know, who am I now? And where did this other girl go? And so there's no way to tell that story, you know, without being on a really intimate level. And so thank goodness we were able to get there. Okay. Why do you think this, this history is so important? to woman and to the world. Yeah. Well, I think that, you know, it's 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 not it's not what a woman is supposed to want. You know, a woman is supposed to, you know, have fun while you're young and then make choices and, and sort of, you know, become a responsible grown up. And um, particularly when you become a wife and mother, you're not also supposed to be a ravenous sex goddess, you know, and it's okay if it's a, if it's a label that's put on you by a man and by the male gaze, like, you know, um, you know, you're called a MILF or whatever, but, um, but for a mother, you know, and, and a woman herself to say, I have desires and I have aspects of myself that still need to be acknowledged and celebrated and tended to by my partner, you know, it's, um, it's, uh, it's revolutionary in a way, you know, and, and one of the mantras in current feminist thinking really is, um, you, you can have it all, just not all at the same time. And I've always bristled at that because I feel like that's just another way of saying you can't have it all and you have to make choices. And I think what we're trying to say is it's okay to not only want it all and try to have it all, but also to be it all um, as well. Okay. What is the biggest lesson you want people who, who will see this? So, uh, learn for this for this season well I want people to feel emboldened to admit that they've had sex that they want to have more <laughs> of it that they want to have better sex um, and I want them to escape their lives and 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 enjoy that ride and perhaps remember their own fabulous single in the city days or, or fantasize about what they wish those single in the city days were, you know, but I, I also want them to go home at the end of the day and, and think about their own choices and, um, and, and find ways to incorporate all parts of themselves um, so that they don't feel like they have to, to give up parts of themselves as they grow up. Okay. Do you have a um, favorite episode of the season? Oh my gosh, it's like asking me to choose between my children, you know. Um, I mean, you know, I think I'll always love the first episode just because that's where it all started. And that's what I first developed with Netflix. And, and, and when we first started talking about these ideas and, and what would these characters be and what would this world be, you know. But what's exciting for me also is that over the course of the season, you know, you really pull the onion or peel the onion on these characters and especially with Brad and you you start to see what makes him tick and why he is the way that he is and you see you know real vulnerability and also you see what happened in his relationship with Billy and how things went south and um, I think it gets to a very you know deep emotional level and that's exciting for me too. 
Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. It was really, really a pleasure talking to you. Um, sure. Well, I can't wait to see Sex Life in June 25th. 25th. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>